you repeat any video you look at it, even if it's interesting. In photography, the viewer is forced to look at it. And it's, it's it for me, still have its own uh, place in my heart. I mean, still, I direct some films, some advertising campaigns uh, or, or anything, but uh, photography is, will stay. My name is Ali Rafai. I'm a commercial advertising photographer and director. My journey in photography started since 23 years uh, as a hobbyist. Uh, soon after one or two years, I worked with advertising agencies, corporate clients. Tried all the fields in photography, travel, uh, portrait, lifestyle, even product. small market so I need to try everything especially at the beginning of my journey uh, as a photographer I'm curious to try anything uh, my source of passion is always uh, from pictures since I was a kid I used to look at the world atlas before any school book looking at pictures how it's created uh, pictures worth a uh, thousand words so Anywhere, when you see uh, visuals and, 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 and movies and uh, photos around the world, it's, it inspires me. I don't have one source, it's, it's all about what attracts me as a photographer. Sometimes I want to try the same direction of this photo, and sometimes I want to create something like inspired by it. So there's many sources, visuals everywhere. I think mainly it's like in movies, the scenes, how it's lit, how it's uh, done, showing the lifestyle of the people. This is the most uh, thing I'm interested in. Uh, my point of view for like a a any photo photographer, like and, and photojournalists, our documentary, it should be honest and to show the message behind each photo. For me as an advertising commercial photographer, I'm, I'm promoting products for my clients. Uh, to be honest and how you show this to the viewer for different categories like uh, photojournalists and uh, and, and my advice is not to stage something that you are documenting. For in my fields, we are staging everything. Even it's affected my uh, work. When I travel and do photography for myself, it's, it's my passion to stage anything and create a scene or even talking to the subject or the person I'm photographing, do this or do that. Uh, it's fit my genre and photography, but for photographer and photojournalist, it's something different. So you are recording a fraction of second of something that the people will look at it and they will trust it's uh, true. My favorite places 
shooting in Bahrain uh, outside of my work, when I'm shooting for my own personal passion, is the places with people. Uh, like, for example, Souq uh, al Or, like, if I'm going out with the people that I can interact with them and take a photo of something interesting they are doing uh, in their environment. So I think uh, for me, uh, the main thing in Bahrain is the, to show us the people, the smile, the, how they interact with people. This is the main thing. That, this is the most thing I like about my country. You can see people and different culture from Bahrain, from uh, anywhere in the world, colors of, like, you know, the soup. It's rich culture there, and you can see the history. The most difficult, challenging uh, thing happened in my career, or, or like my life, uh, was when I started my photography journey as a hobbyist. Then, uh, short after that, I work. It was my almost full-time job. At that time, first two years, I was working, and like you know, in a company, and I, I reached a point that. I need to decide to stay in my full-time job and do photography on the side or like you know quit and I left my job full-time job with, and I have a family three kids and continue my journey in photography it was a difficult decision to go from like you know hobbyist to full-time professional and it pushed me to work harder uh, this is the most turning point in my uh, career and you know my photography journey after that uh, improving my work uh, increase the income from my photography to make sure that I'm fine in my life I advise the young generations or anyone who's uh, interested in photography and this art is learn, always learn. Uh, invest in your uh, education in photography, even if it's not f your full time. Don't be carried in like, you know, buying stuff, buying cameras, lenses. You can do anything with a simple uh, equipment or simple camera. Uh, learn about technical stuff, learn about the art, follow your passion and uh, this will, then you can do anything you want in, in this photography. I don't participate a lot in, or like, I didn't participate in any exhibitions. Uh, at the beginning, I did one or two competitions, which uh, I won both. Uh, but now I do more of sometimes proactive jobs in advertising. I won a uh, few awards with the uh, advertising agency, so it's like part of the team creating an ad campaign 
uh, for a cause and wish to win. But uh, we, I have three awards in this category, which is like uh, international, but it's not photography uh, competitions or exhibitions. Maybe soon, after 20 years of photography, I will start my first exhibition. So 20 years when I did the photography as a commercial, I saw it, it, it was a big change uh, at the beginning. I, was, I started at the end of film era, then digital came. Learning the digital photography and how to create the visuals, uh, it changed during this time. Uh, I think now it's the best time for anybody to start. Who can imagine that in, from your, in the palm of your hand, you can share anything with the world? I mean, before, when I started, it was very difficult to get resources and learn. Now it's, it's, it's easy. I mean, it's much easier. Nobody is like, can say that, oh, it's difficult to learn. So again, coming back to, like, you know, advising everyone, like, you know, it's easy to, to learn. And uh, for me, for example, I don't have any educational uh, background in photography. So everything is self-taught. I used to buy a book to learn, like, from two or three pages about photography. So I wasted a lot of years learning. Now, which I... What I learned in 20 years, it can be like, you know, quarter of this time for anybody to learn. So it's changed how you share your work, how, how you can promote. And at the same time, it's difficult to be unique among all these people. I mean, like, I have thousands of followers, like 70% of them are photographers. So how to be unique, how to say your message or your unique style in photography it's it's more difficult now but if you are doing it for passion you, do, you should not care about anything share your work and uh, it's easy future plan, I have upcoming projects with uh, some of them are international, uh, which I cannot talk about. Um, and it's, it's, we want it to happen, like, you know, producing international work from Bahrain with full Bahraini team. Uh, it's another addition to my journey in this uh, field. And for sure, I mean, we need to improve our skills, improve the talent which we are working with. Uh, especially, I mean, in, in, in my field, it's not one-man show. We have production, we have uh, teams, we have talents to work with. Uh, it's, it's, my work is it's going into management to create the visuals or photos, but it's not like, you know, just simple click and waiting for the moment. We have to create our moments uh, for all clients. So this is the difference between commercial photography and, you know, other categories and other fields.
motion and photos. I mean, in motion or video, let's say, you have a lot of frames uh, during one minute or like, you know, second per second, 24, 30. Uh, it's easy to hide any mistakes or do something that it will hide the details in this, photo, in, in this uh, video. Uh, in photography, you have one frame only and you have to perfect it, especially in my commercial advertising work. We have to take care of e every detail in this frame because it's more visible to everyone. It's on the billboard with huge size and we have to take care of every detail from the talent, from the production level, from technical stuff like lighting, uh, location, everything is in one frame and any mistake will be visible to anybody. Even the normal person will say, oh, there is a mistake in this photo. But in video, okay, you have scene after scene. And for me, the photo still, it, it have its own place in the world. It's, uh, it's how many times you, you repeat any video, you look at it, even if it's interesting. But in, in, in photography, the viewer is forced to look at it. And it's, it's it for me, still have its own uh, place in my heart. I mean, still, I direct some films, some advertising campaigns uh, or, or anything, but uh, photography is, will stay. Since the beginning, I was interested in commercial photography. It's, it's, uh, when you see a billboard or ads in magazine, it's, uh, that was my interest in photography. Uh, I didn't start it as event or hobbyist, for sure. Like, you know, as a hobbyist, I was with my camera everywhere or travel with my camera, take photos of beautiful places. But uh, commercial, which was, it's, it, I felt it's a challenge. It's something unique, how they can create this image or how they can create this ad. So uh, in my first commercial job, I didn't realize how it is in detail to create a simple product shot or simple person in this billboard. There is an international standard, especially if you are working with international agencies. Uh, and you have to approve this single frame or single photo with not only one, one person, it's, it's, it's a full team. Uh, it, it should go through my standard, then art buyer, which is the agency usually. So there is a person who's looking at the photo and there is his boss and there is a client of this agencies and it's, it's, it's sometimes complicated to, to, to work with these challenges. I mean, someone should have a, a good experience in this field. So you should understand it's not just, okay, I'm a good photographer, I like this photo, and that's it. So you have to approve it through like 20 persons. My biggest supporter, I mean, for sure, it's uh, family. Uh, they went through my journey when I left my work and they supported me. I mean, my wife, my mom, 
my brothers, and uh, they encourage me to work harder. And I, I don't want to forget anybody from my, fr I mean, one of my friends. They are all like, you know, supporting me and uh, trying to help me in any way. So like, you know, I am so thankful for everyone.